This is the book of Ezekiel 18 and 31. Cast away from you all your transgressions, whereby you have transgressed, and make you a new heart and a new spirit. For why will you die, O house of Israel? Before I get started, I want to say, Call Halayim La Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Macha Kodash, which means our praises to the Heavenly Father Yahweh in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, which is our Lord and Savior, and to the Holy Spirit. Double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone who teach Him well. Peace and love to the elect of the nation of Israel, and come back again. Do the spirit power of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Racha Kodash, on the border Adna from Jeremiah Smith's camp. In the name of this lesson, we'll be titled Be Reborn in the Mind. So, Lord willing, this lesson be edifying to the lip. So, let's start at verse 30, Ezekiel 18 and 30. Therefore, I will judge you, O house of Israel, right? The house of Israel, which consists of you so-called Negroes, Blacks, Hispanics, Latinos, and Native Americans, and wherever Israel has been scattered at due to the curses that made look like the other nations, but whose spirit goes back to Israelite. The Lord said, well, he would judge us. He didn't say, everyone according to his ways, said the Lord, yeah, I would right? Repent, and that's the whole point. Repent. You know, if you don't repent, you will never see salvation. As the scriptures say in Luke um, 13 and 5, I get it real quick. Luke 13 and 5, I tell you nay, but except you repent, you shall all likewise perish. Are you going to die if, if you don't repent? N-O-T, no. I tell you again that unless you repent, you will perish too. So it's all about repentance, man. You know? Verse 3 said the same thing. I tell you nay, but except you repent, you shall all likewise perish in the team, not at all, and you will perish too unless you repent of your sins and turn to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. And that, that's in real letters, man. It's all about repentance, man. Standing in a repentant uh, uh, mindset, man. You know, so going back to Ezekiel 18 and 30. Therefore, I will judge you, O house of Israel, every one according to his ways, said the Lord Yahweh. Repent and turn yourselves from all your transgressions, so iniquity should not be your wound, right? So iniquity, so sins, right? Because pretty much what is sin, transgress another law. Is it say, folks, let's get it. I'm going to let the scriptures do the talking, you know, for John 3 and 4. Whosoever committed sin, transgress also the law. Who was the law that uh, commandments given to? The nation of Israel. Right? When You know, Psalm 785, Psalms uh, uh, 147, uh, uh, um, 19 and 20. No one I get it, but it said, Whosoever committed sin, transgress also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law, right? You walk in contrary to the laws that's commandments of Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai. Because, hey, the Lord said don't eat pork, seafood, you know, and you decide to do it anyway, that is sin unto you, man. The Lord said don't commit adultery, you decide to do it anyway, that is sin. You walk in contrary to the laws that's commandments. So that is sin unto you, man. The Lord said, well, he going to judge us, man. Let's go and get this Psalms 147. Before I give 147, 7, 8, and 5. For he established a testimony in Jacob, and Jacob's name was changed to, uh, changed to Israel. For he established a testimony in Jacob and appointed a law in Israel, man, which he commanded our fathers that they should make them known to their children. You see? Psalms 147. In 19, he showed his word unto Jacob, his statutes, and his judgment unto Israel. He had not done so with any nation, and as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye the Lord Yahweh. So the other nations, the heathens, they don't know the judgments of Yahweh by Shemal Shah, but we do. He showed his word unto us, us man. <clears throat> Does it say Amos 3 and 1? I get it. Hear this word 
that the Lord Yahweh has spoken against you, O children of, of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up for the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known of all the families of the earth. So out of all the nations upon the earth, he only known us. He only dealt with us, man. It's been what the Israel, man. He brought us out of the land of Egypt, out of bondage, man. You only have I known out of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities, right? For all our sins, man. So it's time to repent before it is too late, man. It's going back to Ezekiel. Ezekiel 18, 13 through 14. Let me read the last part of this um, verse 30. Repent and turn yourselves from all your transgressions so iniquity should not be your wound, right? So it won't be your downfall because the wages of sin is what? Death is to save Romans 6 and 23. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of the Most High is, is eternal life through Yahweh Shah, Hamashah, God, Lord. So the penalty of committed sin leads to death, man. You know, and they are sins worthy of death, man. And one being adultery, man. You, hey, do not commit adultery, man. <laughs> let's go back to Ezekiel 18. And now let's read 31 again. Cast away from, it's like 18, Ezekiel 18 and 31. Cast away from you all your transgressor, right? Put all of it behind you, man. Stop rebellion, man. Hey, real quick, Isaiah no, yeah, let's go and get it. Isaiah 55 and 7. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts, right? His thoughts, his, you know? So let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts and let him return unto the Lord. Pretty much what? Repent. Return back unto Yahweh by Shem and Yahweh Shai. And he will have most upon you, right? He's going to have most upon you. But you got to. Turn back onto him. The scriptures say, "Draw nigh unto him; he will draw nigh unto you." Lord, when I get that, but let him return unto the Lord, and he will have mercy upon him into the our power, into our power, for he will abundantly pardon. Why right? he gonna forgive you, man? But you start repentance, turn it back onto him, man. Going back, <clears throat> going back to Ezekiel eighteen and thirty one, cast away. From you all your transgressions, whereby you have transgressed, and make you a new heart and, and a new spirit. For why will you die over house of Israel? Right, why will you die? And all you got to do is repent, and, and, you know? But it starts with the mind, being reborn in the mind, repentance, man. For why will you die? You see? But our people love death rather than life. We can tell by their actions, man. Refuse to repent. It said, For I have no pleasure in the death of him that died, said the Lord Yahweh. Wherefore, turn yourselves and live ye. What? Turn back and live, man. That's the whole point. Repent and live, man. This this precept just came to my spirit. Acts 3. Uh, in 19. Acts 3 and 19. Repent ye therefore and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out. That's what you should want. You want your sins to be wiped away, man. You want to be found worthy in the eyes of Yahweh shot, man. So repent. It's Acts 3 and 19. Repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out when the times of refreshing should come from the presence of the Lord. You see? So turn back unto Yahweh shot. shall repent, man. This is the book of Sirach 17 and 24. But, um, but unto them that repent, because only a handful, right, a women that going to repent, man. You see? But unto them that repent, he granted them return and comforted those that fell in patience. Return unto the Lord, Yahweh Shemashai, and forsake thy sins, right? Forsake it. Make make thy prayer before his face and offend less. And that's the, and that's the whole point of offending less, man, because we in this flesh... Is subject to uh, vanity to sin, but the point is what offend less by what we hosting the righteous acts of the Lord every day. You know the laws, the commandments that we can keep, we keep it to the best of our ability, man. You know you can stop eating pork, you can stop eating seafood, you can stop getting hairlines, shaving your beard, committing adultery, getting tatted up, smoking. You know you can stop. 
It says, Turn again to the Most High and turn away from iniquity, for he will lead thee out of darkness into the light of health and hate thy abomination for him. And that's the whole point. You see, and the scriptures say, Well, it was our mind to go astray and being with tongues, seek him ten times more, man. So we got to draw now. Let me go back. Let me get that. In the book of James. Uh, James 4 and 8. Draw nigh to the Most High, and he will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts. Meaning what? Your mind. Purify your hearts. Ye, ye devil-minded. Right? So cleanse your heart. So like cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts, man. And that's come by what? Being reborn. In the spirit, <laughs> let's get that John 3. And I started one. John 3 and 1. There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. The same came to Yahweh Shai by night and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from the Most High. For no man can do these miracles that thou doest, except the Most High be with him. Yahweh Shai, which is his only true name, his Hebrew name. Yahweh Shai, he is a deliverer, he is a savior for the nation of Israel, he is our king, man. That's his true name, Yahweh Shai. So Yahweh Shai answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, which means truly, I say unto you, why unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of the Most High. So you got to be born again. And it started with, with the mind, hey, Jeremiah 4. In 14, 144, O Jerusalem, Jerusalem is a people before it's a place. Speaking to who? The house of Israel, you so-called Negroes, Blacks, Hispanics, Latinos, and Native American Indians, man. This word, this good news was sent unto us. You see? So, O Jerusalem, wash thou heart from wickedness, meaning what? The mind, the heart go back to law, meaning the mind. Cleanse our hearts, you know, purify your heart from wickedness, man. Murdering, you know, stealing, you know. So, O Jerusalem, wash down heart from wickedness. Wait, worshiping pagan holidays and shit. <laughs> you know? So, O Jerusalem, wash down heart from wickedness. Wickedness. That thou mayest be saved. Right? So, you're going to be saved, man. Okay, if you don't repent, you will not receive salvation. If you're Israelite, of course, the scriptures say in Romans 11, 26, all Israel should be saved. But guess what? You got to come back in Hebrew Huggies. We know two thirds gonna come back in Hebrew Huggies because the election had received and the rest were blinded. You see? We see what the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, repentance. So, O Jerusalem, wash thou heart from wickedness that thou mayest be saved, right? So, you can see salvation. How long should thy vain thoughts lodge within thee, right? How long should you constantly meditate upon evil thoughts, man? The scriptures say, depart from evil and do good. And they come by what? Rehousing the righteous acts of the Lord. Repentance, man. It's all about repentance, man. What does it say in the Psalms 119 and 9? I get ready to end it. I believe the point been made. So this Psalms 119 and 9. But with all should a young man clean his way by taking heed to according to that word, right? By obeying the words of Yahweh by Shem so this is the true baptism, man. Reading this again. Wherewithal should a young man clean his ways by taking heed thereto according to thy word. Who were you? How will by show me how shall I work? Even the Lord said what in John 15 and 3. Now you are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Right? This word can clean you, man. Hey, John 17. Let me get it. Bear with me, John 17. Huh? John 17 and 17. Sanctify them through that truth. That word is true. Why right? sanctify them? Put them what? Make them holy. <laughs> Let me see some. Uh, you know what? It's John 6 and 63. Bear with me. <laughs> Yep, John 6 and 63. Going back to what, John 15 and 3. Now you are clean through the word which I spoke on to you, right? So this is John 6 and 63. It is the spirit that quickened it, the flesh profit and nothing. The words that I speak on to you, they are spirit and they are life, right? They are life. 
in this word life when you go into the Greek and I get to the etymology of it Strong's G 2198 Zao 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 I mean, what's to live, breathe, be among the living, right? You're not among the congregation of the dead. You're not lifeless. You're not dead. You're among the living. Verse, uh, the second part, to enjoy real life, to have true life and worthy of the name. Worthy of the name. Because we know his name is sacred. His name is dreadful among the heathens, man. We know two-thirds, they are what heathens in this time frame. So they not worthy of the name. That's why you, you, what, you see them, you hear them, not calling upon Yahweh by Shem Shah, man. Not praying to Yahweh by Shem Shah. You see, they praying to false gods. Most High, Christ blessed, Jesus Christ, Allah, Buddha. Shit, they own, <laughs> they own money, they own self. So they not worthy of the name. They don't have the true life, man. But it's for us, our praises to Yahweh by Shem Shah. We're being called out of darkness through a marvelous light. It is this not of us. This is a gift for us that we are saved uh, by grace. Are you saved through faith? Right? Look, hey, let me get it. Let me get it. This is the book of Ephesians. Um, is it Ephesians 4? You know what? It's like Ephesians 2. Ephesians 2 and 8. For by grace are you saved through faith. And that not of yourself is the gift of the Most High. Hey, going way back to that, uh, no, Romans 6 and uh, 23. And the, <laughs> we get it. This is the gift of the Most High. The free gift, man. You have a shot. Romans 6 and 23. For the wages of sin is death. But the gift of the Most High is eternal life. Grace. You have a shot. Do you have a shot, my shot, God, Lord, man. So I'll praise to you, have a shot, man. For blessing us with his name, man. Word of the name, man. So, to have true life and word of the name, man. Active. Why you active? You laboring. Blessed. Endless in the kingdom of the Most High. So, hey, that pretty much it. Word of the name, man. Read this again. It is the, it is the spirit that quickened it, the flesh profited nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life, man. Hey, John 7 and 38. He that believe on me, as the scripture has said, out of his belly, what the mind shall flow rivers of living water, right? Living water, living water, living. Word of the name, have true life, man. <laughs> you know? But it all starts with the mind. Romans, and I read this in the NLT and I end it. Romans 12 and 2. You know what? Let's read in King James, then the NLT. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Right, by the renewing of your mind. You know, cleanse your heart from wickedness. Renewing of your mind. That you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of the most high. So, N-O-T. Don't copy the behavior and customs of this world. right? Because this world is what? Wickedness. And this world don't teach you to repent. It don't teach you to feel your how about show me how was shot. So don't copy it, man. You know? So don't copy the behavior and customs of this world, like right? celebrating Christmas, Thanksgiving, Easter, so forth for so on, you know? So don't copy the behavior and customs of this world, right? You want to take the MOTB. But let the most I transform you, right? Transform you into a new person by changing the way you think, right? By changing the way you think. Being brainwashed, man. In the spirit, righteousness, man. <laughs> you know? By changing the way you think, then you will learn to know the most I will for you. Right? Then you're going to know what the Lord wants you to do, man. How to please Him by fearing Him and keeping His commandments. The class these 12 and 13, which is the whole duty of, of, of man. Then you will learn to know the most I will for, for you, which is good and pleasing and perfect, man. You know, because scriptures say what? Take out that old man and put on a new man which you created out of righteousness, man. So I'm going to end it in the woodland. This lesson was edifying to the lick. Once again, give our praises to Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah Ba'ashim, Wacha Kodash.